hear about the Pepperdine UCLA game. Um, I had a chance to break it down. This time I was able to get the players. I would say the player minutes is probably not exactly accurate. Um, I didn't really know who was always getting subbed in and out without 4K video. It's really difficult. Um, but the stats are pretty accurate, I would assume. Um, so we'll kind of start with the team stats. Uh, we'll do UCLA first. Uh, UCLA Pep basically their team stats first. Okay, so first thing I want to show is both of them had about 30, 31 attempts the same. Obviously, UCLA converted 15 of those where uh, Pepperdine only had nine. Shooting percentage is a little better for UCLA at 48%. Um, both teams had pretty good exclusions, right? 13 for UCLA, Pepperdine for nine. And if you look at the six on five percentages, Pepperdine was actually a higher six on five. But with the uh, UCLA being able to have more opportunities, they were able to have a, a higher successful rate there. Um, turnovers were 10 and 13, respectively. And steals were about the same also. The turnovers, just an FYI, the turnovers include contra fouls. It's all turnovers. And then separate out those. Those are contra fouls that were against them. So they actually had eight turnovers, two contra fouls. Steals, they had nine steals with four contra fouls against Okay, uh, so happened against them, so, you know, so for Pepperdine's four, it happens that way. Okay, um, my field block looks like it's not correctly calculating that, because I see we had four field blocks, so I'll have to get that fixed. Okay, nine exclusions, 13 matches as earlier. Big one here is UCLA had nine saves, they're at 30%, where Pepperdine had 11 saves, they're at 35%. So some interesting numbers to uh, look at. Okay, and then if you look at the farther down here, you see that... UCLA was 5 for 14 shooting in even opportunities, okay? They actually had 29 opportunities, so some of those could be exclusions drawn. In my 2.0 window of this, I'll click on this and it'll show me what happened for each of those. So soon keep an eye on these to uh, see the details of the next level, okay? And then even actually they were 3 for 14 with 29, okay? So counterattacks is where UCLA really makes their money. Okay, they had four for five on the counterattack in shooting with nine opportunities. So they had nine counterattacks available or that they used it that way. Um, and, and that's kind of it. Okay, so the big one, six on five, where we saw those earlier. Okay, so this is where you kind of can see what happened, the possession before. So UCLA, after Pepperdine scored, they were two for seven shooting. They had eight of those that happened. Okay, so eight of those after goals. And then Pepperdine was three for 10 shooting with 10 of those happen. Okay, um, over here we have after misses. Okay, so after misses. So that is after Pepperdine, after UCLA missed, Pepperdine was five for 26 shooting with 27 attempts. Okay, and then over here, they were 8 for 19 shooting with 37 attempts. Okay, and then over here, after turnovers, they were 4 for 5. So, like we said earlier, you see UCLA is opportunistic, right? They do a good job after they shoot the ball and miss. They're going to probably come down and score on you. If you turn it over, they're really going to get you, and we saw those earlier. Okay, so if you look at here, this is the UCLA shooting. Okay, so UCLA shot out of center. Counterattack perimeter six on five, okay, and that is where it happened, okay. So where in the pool they shot and the percentage, okay, and the same thing for where they shot on cage, okay. Um, Pepperdine, they shot center counterattack perimeter driving six on five is where they got all their goals pretty much, okay, and this is where they shot it on cage. And this here is where it was in the pool, where it was in the pool. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see UCLA. I have two games of UCLA, so it'll be interesting to put those two together, and we'll have to check those out. Um, as I get this window finished up, we'll get the points per quarter and all of that fixed up. Okay, um, but here's some of the advanced stats that I've been working on. I, I By no means is this window close to done or not. Um, but let me zoom in and kind of show you what I've been playing with a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back to basic first. Okay, so these are the players listed, these are the minutes, attempts, goals, assists, drawn exclusions, drawn penalties, sprints, sprints lost, 
six on five, right? Okay, six on five goals, six on five percentage. Okay, turnovers, contra fouls, steals, contra fouls against, field block, exclusion, penalties. Over here is points. So this is goals plus assist, right? Kind of like your hockey points. And then this one here is a value player score or value play your system, depending on what you want to use it. I stole this from basketball. I'm not 100% sure how it graded is relating, but it's 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 interesting over a season. I've done the, the stat for a couple seasons, and, and for the most part, your best player ends up your best one here. So anything over one is good. Below one is not as good. Over two, we're starting to get really good. And then with the scoring, we have this game, right? He had five goals, his value player scores. Okay, so basically it is good divided by bad is what that is. So if you shoot the ball and miss it, that is a bad one. If you score, you get one. Okay, so that's just kind of how it works. Um, and then let's take a look at the advanced. Okay, so on the advanced, um, possessions, I'm not sure that's accurate, right? Because I couldn't see all the cap numbers. This is true shooting percentage, so that takes out the penalty shots. Um, and I had the opportunity to uh, talk to Coach Graham about this, and, and it'll be interesting to see with my new adjusted numbers how I'm going to do that. Usage rate I haven't worked on yet. Assist percentage I haven't worked on yet. Okay, this one turnover percentage. Um, and then turnover plus minus. This is points for 32 minutes. Okay, and uh, that would be a full game, right, if you played 32 minutes. So this is a predictive deal. So if we had multiple games, that would show you there. Okay, and then uh, we got assist per 32 shot percentage. So this is the amount of shots they took in relation to the team. And this is your point percentage in relation to the team. Okay, plus minus, right, that was when they are in the pool, when they are out of the pool, plus minus there. Again, that's based upon those minutes, which I can't. Tell you they're accurate. Um, the neat thing about this window is that everything is attached to video, right? So if I click on Rosenfeld and I want to see all of his goals, when I click on that, it'll give me all of his goals. Okay, so kind of a neat thing to look at. Um, so that's kind of the synopsis of UCLA Pep. UCLA wins 15 9. The uh, big story of the game was that counterattack and the counterattack, which we've looked at earlier and you see here. Um, so, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you the uh, clips now. Rogers works it into the corner, six pocket. Back out to Rogers. There to the four. There to the one corner. Rainbow. Chavasano. Exclusion on seven white. Takis. Jarvis excluded. Six on five. Pepperdine. Mako gets it to the six pocket. Takis steps inside two. Back to the one. And a nice pass. Six from Kaneko. And it's Bruin Ball. Two minutes. Two minutes here in the first. Travisano's entry pass going to stay there with Rossi. Draws the exclusion. Five Dark Larson. Six on five Pepperdine. Dacus in the sixth pocket. Gets it out to the four. Back over to the one. Skip shot. Heavy on the underclassmen. Entry pass from Pulis draws the exclusion. Six on five. UCLA. Looks like Mo Kenny, excuse me, Kaneko on the exclusion. And Savalich, Travisano works it down to the corner. Exclusion drawn at center. Nice stop at Cage. That'll reset the shot clock, but still with an advantage is UCLA.
Travis Sano. Up the outside, Kenny. Mo. And near side off the mark. And it's Pepperdine ball. Under six to play till halftime. And a skip shot quickly taken by Kosha. Finds it. I understand how it feels. Back in action, waves with advantage. Out of the timeout. Entry pass leads to exclusion on six white Carpenter. Six on five, UCLA. Grill, Savlich. Back to Grill. Travis Sano. Rogers. Savlich back to Travis Sano. Take difference between game and shot clocks. Outlet to Arthur. It's back to Sprudy. And a long pass picked up and anticipated by Marizzi. Try shot clock, final seconds. Books. UCLA trying to add on to their two goal lead here in the second half of play. That's Rogers. Kenny. Off speed put in. Likes, likes the no look drop offs. Not quite an assist there. With the action and movement by Pullis to get a better angle. Works up more towards the three. Off the one two. And able to put it in. Skip shot. Good put. Rosenfeld back to Rogers. Entry pass to Grill draws the exclusion on Kasha. Five on four with two back. Nice shot put in. Six dark Rogers. So UCLA now on top by three. See if they can hold on to this. Entry pass, kick back out and taken away by Rosenfeld. And it's Bruin ball. Just under three to play here in the third. Outlet, Travisano feeds it forward, Rosenfeld. Back over to UCLA, A pair of 19s. It's Rossi who took it from Arthur. And it's Bruin ball. Jarvis. There to Gruel in the corner to the lefty. Travisano back to Gruel. Travisano. Gruel over to Kenny. Waves in advantage. Near side attempt off the wood. And Savlich is there to control. And start the counter. It's all over the place. Exclusion 24, dark gruel. Six on five waves. Offensive turns it right back, UCLA. So a little back and forth. Kosa. Dacus. Coach Wright.
Nice passing, UCLA with advantage. Savalic from Rogers. At 435. Yeah, so that's, that's. So what Clay was saying is just keep feeding it into center. If they're gonna be calling that rate of exclusions, just keep getting your feet in and you're good. As long as you can convert. Rogers. Rosenfeld. Not here again. Still with advantage is Pepperdine for about another three seconds. Osea. And a difficult trajectory after. So Hosea with his second goal. Fifth goal for Mo Buckets. Final minute. Final minute. Field block, but the rebound picked up. 